Hello and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. Milchar Binance confirms compliance with South Korea's request to freeze Do Kwant's crypto cryptocurrencies. Right, we can't make this stuff up. Guys, the implosion of Tether is literally imminent. That tells you what. Okay, we came all the way down here to make sure you heard this, but neither the key nor the coin is yours, correct? I mean, come on, how is Binance any different from a bank at this point? No one else predicted this, but we predicted it a long time ago, and now it's finally coming true. Everything is going to be controlled from one place while also being distributed. Despite the inherent decentralization of the technology itself, widespread adoption of digital currencies is unlikely until institutionalized support systems are put in place. Look at these companies' institutions that are here to help and serve the people right with on-ramps and off-ramps and whatnots guys so basically people got lured into this new cryptocurrency and don't worry you guys are about to bring us CBDCs here right thanks will be here right thanks will be here very shortly as well, one user wrote. This being the case, is everything okay, guys? Because, at the end of the day, there seems to be some confusion and misunderstanding regarding something that Nance said. Nance's Australia Israel asked to have their derivatives licenses cancelled yesterday, and as of yesterday, the platform had between one and four users. Israeli will continue to operate the spot exchange in India as you can see right here, so why did they want to cancel it right now in response to a request to cancel received from Nance yesterday? That's fascinating, right? Once more, is everything secure? I hope you're doing well. Sure, fellas. A literal transformation to guys section page 4 of the entire Nance site has just occurred. Have no fear. We'll investigate what went wrong with FTX. We're not making this up, and many people share your assessment that Coinbase is secure. Just in former Coinbase executives reached settlements with the SEC over allegations of insider trading. Right? If insider traders are this dubious even when they are not, Nance must be awful. This is how you know that no transaction is secure at the moment, right? Coinbase is the only transaction of Mr. Pools that I'm aware of that he publicly displayed, because see, right? And number three, is that fascinating? Maybe perhaps Coinbase will emerge as the sole XRP provider. Isn't it interesting that Coinbase delisted XRP? But if it ends up being the last cryptocurrency exchange standing thanks to its elite backers and other factors, then it's funny that they did so, because XRP will presumably be the last coin sent. Now, let's talk about Tether, because this was Tether, and Tether connects to XRP wallets via these exchanges and whatever else. Let's listen up right now. On March 13, 2023, the chief technical officer of Tether, also known as the Joker, claimed that the company had no exposure to Signature Bank. Then let's refer to this April 5 tweet. You wouldn't make this stuff up if you tried, but the 23 of us who trust Tether have opened accounts at Signature Bank in the hopes of gaining access to the American financial system. Imagine trusting a person who works at Tether and yet they are never exposed when something bad happens in crypto, it's unbelievable and a huge red flag. You are not at risk for Signature Bank's right and liquidity, according to one of the higher ups there. Oh look what just came out, you guys, so what you know what is telling through this profile picture right here guys, this is the craziest thing we've ever discussed before right it's literally a joker, and when does this joker pop up right or pop out? Whenever there's chaos, that's when the joker appears. Does this mean that Tether will collapse at the same time as the global financial system? Probably so, given that the joker always seems to make an appearance in the midst of total anarchy. Again, I'd like to put my faith in these people, but I just can't bring myself to believe that you wouldn't be at fault if something went wrong if you did. Many warnings now, pay attention carefully because we are not joking, Bittrex is closing, and you may need to do the same. This is the end of their rope. Assemble nuclear weapons if I'm not mistaken, it died down, but then it rose again. Oh my god, look at this guys what the hell is wrong with him. When the news broke, what transpired here? That's crazy, right? Right there we have a loss of 8% I know this sounds crazy, but guys, it just went back up and pegged itself again. Isn't it true that the USDT to US dollar peg dropped all the way to 96 cents? These are the indicators of potential danger. Bill Ramey and I have decided to voluntarily shut down our U.S. 
operations in order to devote our full attention and enthusiasm to building Beatrix into a global cryptocurrency powerhouse. If you're wondering why they are doing this, it's because they are aware of the impending crackdown on cryptocurrency exchanges and other illegal activities. Literally we were just about to bring up the fact that Doge Doge's creator claims the game will soon be over, so we thought we'd contact all of your base's customers today to let them know how this affects them. And because they are winding down, the next step must be carefully considered. As you can see, Bitrix USA is closing down, if you want to get your money out of there, you have until April 30. This will not affect international users of Bitrix, whose accounts will continue to function normally. But you know what's affected or what's interconnected is all these damn exchanges right there's going to be a literal domino effect guys many of these exchanges will be closing soon to say at least not to mention we go down here hope you didn't want your XRP soon as well. But hey, look at this, people, Bitrex has the best XRP wallets for long term use. Wow. For the time being, I need to withdraw my XRP from the exchange because Bitrex has temporarily disabled XRP wallets while she performs maintenance. When can we expect this to be reusable? Correct this this person emerges from the Bitrix in search of assistance and other such things. If you're on Reddit, come on down. For the 10,000th time, people are sitting in silence while their keys, cryptocurrency, and coins are stolen. Likewise, Flair has been down for over a week for maintenance, wow, something must be up with these exchanges, particularly Bitrex. It's hilarious to us and whatnot that a few days ago, it looked like a lot of XRP was being moved off the exchange in $3 million chunks, and yet now, no one can get their XRP off of Bitrix. Wow, so this group of people or this quantity of XRP was moving out of the exchange guys before a god what before the wallet went into maintenance mode before the news broke or spread widely. Wow, a lot of XRP is being transferred out, that's totally normal, everything will be fine. Absolutely nothing is being stolen, least of all millions of dollars, and exactly guys a lot of shady guys if it's not your keys not your crypto right I'll be very wary at this point. Guys actually wait 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 a minute it didn't go to 96 cents and went all the way down to about 90 something cents guys right 92 cents or so. Wow. The exchange rate went from $1 at the time to 92 cents, which is ridiculously well. That's totally out there. Here's the next thing we've got to check out. The second, equally emphatic message from Tether Ender shut up about the dangers of ordinary people owning Tether, Alice allies are crucial. Despite Tether's full backing, however, the fact is currently useless to holders of USDT on Bittrax. Basically, he comes in and says this to the guys again, and this time he gets a pause rate Tether that reading he essentially says that trading in Tether on exchanges and in secondary markets is impossible. Market makers, drop everything you're doing and come down here, that's your job. In other words, if you don't have a minimum of $100,000 in annual revenue and aren't a verified customer mentor, right? And you basically own USDT Tether, and Tether's message to you is tough luck if the market maker doesn't do their job, is that right? Tether continues to honor redemptions normally with verify customers able to redeem USDT on Tether for USD $1, because they literally do not care. Tether has processed over 2 billion USDT today and has honored over 300 million USDT redemptions in the last 24 hours. That's a lot of cash, no doubt about it, right guys? That USDT holders are selling for USD because they fear the future of Tether is not a good sign. This is not a joke at all. During the damn failure, this will certainly collapse, so be warned. Also, sorry we can't get to this today. But Nance and I have decided to turn all of Tether into a sequel. Tomorrow, right guys? This is part one of our exchanges. Let's descend now. Tether's other blatant message is that ordinary people should not worry about the dangers associated with owning a Tether, right? With increased regulatory scrutiny on crypto and decreased access to banking, how many more unverified customers could soon find themselves in a similar situation? Bitrix doesn't seem to have much sympathy for Tether holders, even though that fact is currently useless to them. Do people need to be warned about these dangers? That is so true. To each his own, I guess. I'm not getting any of those stable coins, you guys understand. It's hard to believe he deserves your trust when his profile picture is of the Joker. Hello. It doesn't make sense to me. 
And then there's a big danger about what's really going on here. We'll have more to discuss in tomorrow's video, guys. But if we go down here, basically the people who made Tether are bit Phoenix, right? It's not unusual for USDT to depack an exchange that's undergoing changes, like Bittrex is. As a result, there's an arbitrage opportunity to buy at low prices and then sell or swap them for a full dollar. However, most people don't realize this. What? You guys can't see that these are the red flags. Tether was created by the company Bifinex, but all of these exchanges are connected with one another, so it doesn't matter which one you use to buy it. Now, I don't know much about Coinbase, but I'm going to guess that everything is linked together. This is because all industries experience great success until one day when their profits evaporate into thin air. God God sees right again may do a fantastic job one day, but the next day it could be completely useless. Right, oh, and then someone says, we don't care about this, it has no bearing on the value of cryptocurrency, so what's Asama? Is it just me, or do people really want to live in denial like this? We go down here, so maybe they are just being serious. Tether fraud is the cost of cryptocurrency. Every cryptocurrency on the market today is pegged to the US dollar. Every single cryptocurrency has a majority of 9.9s. Anna, I have no idea what I'm going to get, it might be all the cryptos in existence. Its value is intrinsically tied to the US Tether trading volume in the cryptocurrency market. Exactly. Everything is bolstered up. Exactly what are you referring to? Right. You just can't make this up. Guys. This is too unbelievable to be true. Right. The standard crypto investor believes that if he doesn't care, then it doesn't matter classic. Guys, the cryptocurrency market is a giant Ponzi scheme. Right. Repeatedly scientific, no one saw this coming. The guys, however, can rest assured that we are about to make a prediction. A buying frenzy is imminent. Right in the middle of it all when you spot guys selling for $2.85, right. The parity of these exchange rates is completely off. So, I'll level with you guys, the crypto industry as a whole is not in good shape. However, I anticipate that everything will collapse under the weight of the current economic system. Right. When that collapses, everything else will fall into place. And the culmination event, guys, is going to be devastating. It gets even more interesting and crazy in part 2 of this video, which I will be filming tomorrow, so guys, prepare, prepare, prepare up. Launch into whatever it is and start listening right away. It's all over today. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.